subscribe now. EU debates. We are living in a time when uh, Russia is engaged in illegal, illegitimate invasion and aggression against the sovereign country, its neighbor Ukraine. And uh, Russia on an everyday basis violates UN Charter, international law. Uh, its armed forces are committing atrocities against Ukrainian people. Um, in addition to this, just a few days ago, Russia announced the path of a further, further escalation and confrontation by this so-called partial mobilization and illegal referenda about annexing parts of uh, Ukrainian territory. So if in these circumstances we are seeing that uh, the foreign ministry of Serbia is agreeing on consultations, regular consultations with the foreign ministry of a country which is uh, committing with a country that is committing all these acts, that it's a very clear sign about their intention to strengthen their ties, to further strengthening their relations between Serbia and Russia. And this is raising serious questions. The European Union was very clear with our partner countries, especially with countries which are in the EU accession process, such as candidate country Serbia, that relations with Russia under current circumstances cannot be as business as usual, with this regime which is committing so many crimes and so many atrocities. And, uh, and we are taking this very seriously and we are following this up. I can only recall that Serbia, by its own decision, declared EU accession as a strategic priority, committed to the EU path, eventually becoming, uh, hoping to become a member of the European Union. And uh, this decision implies alignment with uh, European policies, including on foreign policy issues. Thank you very much.